What's up guys, it's time for another episode of Ask Zyback. I believe we're up to Ask Zyback number 8, and I want to apologize real quick. I'm sorry for not uploading that many videos recently, and that many quality videos. I have been a little bit lacking in the creative juice department. I just, it's, it's a bit of a dead period right now. The new consoles come out in two months, and I just haven't been that excited. I've got some good, good video ideas after this week or so of me not uploading any real videos. Uh, so I will be making videos about that stuff, but sorry guys, I just I just haven't been feeling it. And during this period, this dry period for me, I have been working on backing up all of my YouTube videos to the cloud. So I don't want you guys to think I just got lazy and just you know slept in bed all day and ate nachos or something. No, I've been working. I just haven't been working on putting out videos. I've almost backed up all 2,000 of my videos to the cloud. I'm on the last like 80 gigabytes right now. I'm almost done. I had to. Uh, chronologically order them, uh, organize them, do all that stuff. It took forever. I was literally doing it for like 12 hours a day for the past week. It's been a pain. Uh, but I'm glad I got it done just in case something happens to my YouTube channel or if I want to upload my videos to another website or if another website pops up or my YouTube channel gets hacked. I don't want to lose all those videos because there's so many good stories and uh, memories from those. So I backed them all up. That's what I've been working on. So uh, now that I've got that almost done, I will be focusing on getting some videos out. I'm going to be streaming when the new 5.4 comes out, so look forward to that. Let's get into the video. Uh, first question comes in from John Carlson from Twitter. How did I deal with my parents' divorce? Now, I've done a video on this before, but it's it, it's been... It, it was I did the video right when it happened, uh, or a little bit after it happened. And I feel like my opinion has kind of changed. It, it's, it's about the same, but... I don't know, I kind of like to revisit topics every now and then because my opinion does morph over time. So, uh, my parents' divorce was very, at least the impact on me, it was not typical. It was awesome for me. I'll be completely honest. I know it's fucked up for me to say that, but my parents were really sheltering. They didn't give me the freedom that I deserved. At least I felt like it, even at a very, uh, even at a, a pretty old age, right? I'm like 17 and I still have a bedtime. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so I didn't have that much freedom. And it sucked. It really sucked. And I feel like I missed out on a good chunk of things during my growing up. Because I just didn't have the freedom to do the, the certain things that I wanted to do. Maybe I didn't make those mistakes. Maybe them sheltering me prevented me from making a bunch of stupid mistakes. It probably did. But I probably missed out on some things too. Just because I just couldn't go out and do the things I wanted to do. Until my parents got divorced. And once my parents got divorced... I had basically unlimited freedom. I could stay up as late as I wanted to. I could go do whatever I want to. I could go anywhere I wanted to. And keep in mind, I'm not a bad kid. I didn't. I what? I never. I've never done anything bad, really. Or at least I haven't gotten caught. I, the, the worst shit I did was just pranks in school. Uh, so I don't know. My parents were really sheltering, and when they got a divorce, it was nice to get the to just have the freedom to do whatever the fuck I wanted to do, and. I think my parents waited. See, the thing about my parents getting divorced is that me and my brother saw it from a, a mile ahead. They, they, for some reason, my parents thought, like, that this was a big surprise. They were getting a divorce. Dude, this was not a surprise at all. Me and my brother saw this coming from, like, four years back. I remember being 13 going, Jesus, why haven't they gotten a divorce yet? So it was not a big surprise. But they thought it was some big surprise to me and my brother. Uh, my mom took it really hard. My dad took it pretty hard. Uh, and I know it's fucked up for me to say that, like, it was kind of awesome when they got a divorce, but it was. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it just was. So, I'm sorry that my answer is not typical, but I think that my parents are more happy now than they were together. My mom, my mom took it really, really hard at first, like, really hard. But now that she's got her freedom, she went back to school, she's got her career path all laid out, and she can do whatever the fuck she wants to do now. She can travel the world. She's thinking about going and seeing all these places that she wouldn't have seen if she was still with my dad. Because she was basically tethered down to my dad because she didn't have a, uh, like a, a career. She didn't have like higher education. And my dad is happier because he's not with my mom. And I guess, whatever. I guess things worked out. So, sorry that my answer is not typical. But that's kind of my take on it. And, uh... <sighs> You're, if you're really sad that your parents are getting divorced, I can't help you. I, that just wasn't the case for me. Next question comes in from Facebook from Martin Makoda. Why did I... Or this is kind of a, a double question. Uh, there's two questions that are involved in this. Why did I leave college? So, I went to college two years ago now. It's Man, time's kind of flown by. Um, I went to college 
to a community college two years ago. I went for one semester, dropped out, and said, I want to go for this YouTube thing. Now, in reality, I didn't really... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I technically dropped out of college, but I was thinking about not going to college out of high school. I was like, I should really just do this YouTube thing. It's something I, that I enjoy, and I think I can make enough money to maybe pull it off, and it's something that I think I can grow over time. Um, but I wasn't, like, super committed to that yet, because it's, it's, this, this is a risky thing. It, right now, we're in a, uh, a weird period where this YouTube streaming game is in the process of being legitimized. Right now, YouTube and streaming, no one's been doing it long enough for it to be a completely legitimate business. Yes, there's people making millions of dollars doing it right now, but how long will it last? No one knows. I don't know. No one knows. Um, but right now we're in the process, and may maybe YouTube and streaming will die off, and it'll just be a, a thing of the past. Or maybe it won't. No one really knows. Uh, but I wasn't too sure of my decision to to go all in on YouTube. So I went to community college first semester. I, uh, I took some IT classes, I was going to go into the whole game design route because I was like, oh, I like video games, maybe I like making video games. And it turns out, uh, not so much. I don't think I, if I go back to college, I don't think I'll do IT, I think I'll do business. So I'm glad that I went to community college for a semester just to see what I didn't like. I'm not really into IT, I'm just not. Um, it's cool, don't get me wrong, I want to learn more about it, like, like self-taught. Like I'd like to know how to make websites, but I don't think I want to go to school for it. Um, so, yeah, ma the main thing, guys, the main reason why I didn't go to community college is because I already had something that I could make money with that I like doing. I, like, why spend a bunch of money going to college when I already have something that I like? It would be one thing if I worked at 7-Eleven and I hated my job, but no, dude, I make YouTube videos and I stream. Like, I love it. I still love it. I've been doing it two years. Yes, there's some downsides. It kind of sucks when things aren't going your way, but for the most part, I love it. And it's, it's, it's something where I'm my own boss, I have my own hours, and I can make as much money as I... Not, not as much money as I want to, but, like, I am the determining factor, usually. Um, you know, there's, there's some YouTubers that make a million, two million, three million dollars a year. And there's me, and I make far less, but I could be one of those people that makes three million dollars if I get the right videos out and do things correctly, and I get my own crazy video series going or something like that. You know, the sky is the limit. That's what I... That's what I'm getting at. Sky's the limit. So that's why I did not pursue college past one semester. I'm glad that I went to community college because I didn't want to... I'm just glad I only went for a semester. I'm glad I didn't get like two years in and go, fuck. Now I'm now I'm stuck. And that kind of uh, goes into my next question from uh, Dave Epstein. Epstein. It's Faros TTTT for all you guys. You guys know him. Um, well, some of you guys. His question is... How do I break out of my life when I'm neck deep in student loans and I'm getting ready to get a degree in something I don't like? I can't help you with this question personally. I'm just a young guy. I'm only 20. But I can give you some comforting words. And that is that a lot of people end up in your situation. It's not like you're like some special case where you're the only guy that's gotten a degree in something they don't like. No, that happens to a lot of people. It happened to my uncle. Uh, it happens to a lot of people. So... You're a smart guy. I, you, you'll find something. And, and just because you don't get something directly, just because you don't get a job that doesn't directly um, use your degree, doesn't mean that the skills that you learned won't be applicable. So you're not the only one. A, a lot of people have had that problem. They ended up just fine. So, yeah, you'll be all right. But I can't help you. I, I can't help you. But that, a word of advice to y you young guys, I just... I don't feel that college is as worthwhile as it once was. With college, you used to just be able to, like, back when my dad went to college, it was a no-brainer. You go to college, you get, you could even get your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your general, like, general education. I, I don't know what the word is, but you just go to, you just learn shit. Not, not nothing specific, but you just go there and learn. And you get your, gen I think it's just generals, isn't it? But you could go get that and get a really nice job to support a family. Like you could just go to college for like two years and get a job that could support a family of four. That was like the American dream. You got uh, uh, a wife, a son, a daughter, and a dog. Like that was like the American dream. You go to college for two years, you got that. It's not, it's not like that anymore. You go to college for, for four years, spend $250,000 in student debt. And then maybe you get a job. Maybe. I don't know. Then you might work at Red Lobster for three years like a guy that I know online that I used to raid with. He got his, uh, he, he went to school to be an architect, went to Georgia Tech, spent like $300,000 to 
$300,000 in student loans. He's got his master's, and he worked at Red Lobster. I think he finally did get a job, but he worked at Red Lobster for like three years. What the fuck? It's not as worthwhile as it used to be, guys. So, uh, my my advice, I don't really have it. I mean, I'm just a young guy, but even though, even though I'm just a young guy and I don't really have like super sound advice, I feel like my advice might still be valid just because I'm actually in this game still. Like, people that are like 40 and 50 giving you advice, they're not really in the game anymore. They they were in the game, but now they're not. So maybe my advice is still valid. Personally, what I would advise is just to stay smart and go for a job that is hireable. You, you don't need artists. You don't always need architects. You don't always need engineers because those things rely on a good economy but guess what you always need plumbers you always need somebody to fix the air conditioner things that are practical are uh are, are booming you know what no one goes no one as a kid goes man when i grow up i want to fix air conditioners so not a lot of kids end up pursuing that and guess what supply and demand motherfucker someone needs to fix the air conditioners and no one wants to be in a house where there's no air conditioning so those guys are making a fuckload of money. There's guys that fix air conditioners that make six figures. And they don't have $250,000 in student loans they gotta pay off. They went to trade school for two years and learned how to fix air conditioners. There's money in things that you wouldn't believe. Yeah, it might not be as glorious as being an architect or a, you know, a doctor or whatever. But guess what? Gotta have air conditioning. Gotta have plumbing. When your toilet doesn't work, that sucks. So just some, more, just some advice. Next question comes in from Jesse Q from Facebook. What do I think of all the Swifty hate? Now, I don't really say, um, this is, a, I'll just answer this question very generally because I don't really s stick up to date with this Swifty news. But I did go through his videos and see that he disabled the, the ratings and the comments for the past like 100 videos he's done. And uh, most of the hate that happens with YouTubers is very. Uh, it's very short-lived. This seems to be longer term than most hate on the internet goes. But most of it, it does die down. Perfect example is I Fly Illini. The guy that caught... The, the guy that was in the Air Force that was jack, jacking off on Chatterbait. That guy, people found him on Chatterbait. Which is... I mean, come on. It's kind of fucking funny, though. That he got... It's kind of funny. Yeah, I know it's fucked up to say, but it's kind of funny. This guy got caught masturbating, and he got a fuckload of hate. He got kicked out of the Air Force, and people ragged on him just for a, like, for a long time. And he recently started making YouTube videos again, and is adored. His like-to-dislike ratio is crazy. He had, like, fucking 10,000 likes and 40 dislikes. It's, everything is, is, for the most part, is pretty short-lived. So, what I gather from this Swifty situation is... He's not popular right now, but the thing is, is that people are still watching his videos. I went and looked at the views he's getting. People still watch his videos, so... I don't know. Maybe people are just loving to hate on him right now. Which is fine, because that still pays the bills. Just as much as people loving to love you. But I think it's, uh... I think for the most part, most of the hate is pretty short-lived. Some people say his videos aren't as good. Maybe. I, I personally don't watch his videos too much. I never have. I just... For some reason, Swifty's never popped up on my radar. I saw the first video he made, the Incredible Warrior Tricks. That was very popular. If you played World of Warcraft, you probably saw that video back then. Um, but I, I don't know. For some reason, Swifty, I just, I've just never watched him. He just never went up, went on my radar when I was really into World of Warcraft. And now I don't really watch any World of Warcraft videos anymore. I occasionally watch some WoW live streams when I'm eating. I'll watch uh, Vanguard's, Vive, Wound Man. I really like those guys, especially Vanguard's. That guy's incredible. He got fucking 3,000... He got like 3,100 rating as Rhett in Season 8. I don't know how he did it. It was terrible. It was fucking terrible. Every melee class, every physical damage melee class in Season 8 was horrible. And he got 3,100 rating or some shit. It was crazy. Dude's ri ridiculously good. I don't know how he did it. But, um... They... I don't. I, I think it's because him and Soda Poppin got into some sort of argument, and Soda Poppin is like the king Koopa right now. He's probably the the top MMO streamer personality guy right now. I'd say um, he's doing he's doing really well. And Swifty, everybody knows Swifty. I don't think Swifty's on top anymore, but um, everybody knows him. He's like the wings of redemption of World of Warcraft. Like everyone knows him, and people are just loving to hate him right now. But I think it'll pass, because I think everything passes, and if he's not making good videos, I mean, eventually he's just, no one's gonna watch him. 
but people are watching him. You know what? People say his videos aren't good, but you look at his videos and they're still getting like 100,000 views, so... I don't know. I mean, I, I see that they're live stream highlights, and I can see how th you can get really lazy with those, but if people are still watching them, then... Fuck. I don't know, man. If you don't like his shit, then don't watch it, but people are still clearly watching it. So I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a very interesting situation, though. I think he's in one of those situations where people love to hate him, so they, they, they watch his videos just to hate on them, even though they can't, because they can't comment. It, it's weird, man. Internet trolls and haters are, are so weird to me, but I... I personally like it when I get hated on. Like, sometimes when I have released... Like, I release videos that I know will get hated on. Like, the ad block video. I knew that was going to get a million dislikes because every ad block video... Every, like, um, ad block debate video on YouTube gets a fuckload of dislikes because people don't like to... People don't like to come to terms with their decisions. Or the trolling videos, man. Like, my Return to WoW video... Go Type in Zyback Return to WoW. And see, watch that video. That was 100% dislike troll bait. And it was glorious. One of my favorite videos I've ever fucking made. Uh, I thought it was so clever. Man, I love that video. But anyway, I've been rambling for a bit too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have a question you want to ask for Ask Zyback number 9, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I prioritize the Facebook and Twitter questions before, uh, before the YouTube comments. So follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, I will always do a notification when I'm getting ready to do another Ask Zyback video. Uh, I really like doing these videos and I like answering questions that aren't always about gaming, but I will talk about gaming as well. So, uh, yeah, be sure to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. If you have a comment that you want to leave for Ask Zyback, do that as well, but keep in mind that I, go, I look to Facebook and Twitter before I look at the YouTube comments. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys next time.